trigger fingers when you get swelling within the tendon of of any of the fingers or your thumb and um, what happens is you've got little bridges that keep your tendon straight in your finger and your thumb and what happens is with the swelling of the tendon it gets stuck normally the ones down here and the one here in your thumb so that when you try and bend your finger it gets basically stuck in the palm the most people that are affected are those who are diabetic mostly um, rheumatoid arthritis and gout and it can be one finger affected two fingers um, at the same time It's when that swollen tendon tries to go through the little bridge that's quite small and it gets stuck. And then you try and bend your finger, it goes through the bridge and then you try and straighten your finger and it can't go get back through. So that's why you can't straighten your finger out. It normally is isolated to that specific tendon, to that particular finger going through its own little bridge rather than all the other ones. So that's why you only get one finger that's stuck. It can say, as I said before, it can affect other fingers at the same time. So you may find that one's worse than the other and you have to use the other hand to straighten it out. For the, minor for the minority that don't respond to local treatments and um, local anaesthetic, which is very good, i.e. the most um, diabetic patients then develop um, um, the thickness that you then have to think about surgery. The surgery involves you making a small incision under local anaesthetic to divide the bridge, allowing that tendon that's swollen to move and glide freely so that you can straighten and bend your finger without it getting stuck. So they have a dressing applied to the finger. Um, it's normally a light dressing that normally stays on for about a week. Um, then uh, the dressings are removed at about a week, 10 days, and the stitches underneath are removed. And then while they're waiting for the dressing to remove, they can move their hand. Um, they keep their hand elevated. Um, they may have some discomfort and take some analgesics, but that's what the normal protocol is. Stitches are removed about 10 to 14 days. They can exercise it before and after. When the stitches come out, they massage the scar as before, by six weeks, most patients are back to normal activities. Um, Drivings commence when they say there's no pain in the scar.